Neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Georgia State is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He'll take it from the two. And down he goes to the 28-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Take him down immediately. Tackle at the 39. So they get it out there for about six yards, and that's a first down. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Ball carrier. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. the 49. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. From the 49-yard line, it's third down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's taken down at the 44. About five yards that time on the throw. He executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. Collins awaits the snap. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's got it with room to run. And they push him out at about the 29-yard line. That brings up second and one. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 29. Bring him down around the 30 yard line. The halfback with a carry. Nice run to the outside. Smith picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll bring up second and three. Second and three coming up here. Ball on their own 37. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. For a nice game. That brings up second and five. From the 44 yard line, second down. Rifles it left, and it's incomplete. Jones is the intended receiver on the play. Third down. They come out in a five wide set. Flag, 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 flag. 
so close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Right down around the 44-yard line. Big stop by the defense. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. The quarterback has to be very careful, Brad, of throwing the football into a position where the wide receiver has a chance to get his head taken off. He threw the ball there and it made it easy for the defender to be able to separate him from the ball. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made right around midfield. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick throw. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Knocked out of bounds, right around the 20. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Number eight, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20. Mike's 42! Mike's 42! Go for it! Quick throw, almost intercepted. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. I like the idea here by the quarterback looking downfield and eventually finding the check down to the running back. The problem is the running back has got to be able to hold on to that football to be able to pick up some yards. Western Kentucky is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 24. After positive yardage. That makes it third and three. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Here we go. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Power loss of two yards on the play. Fourth down. Right to punt. He's taken down at the 33 yard line. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses to just, just to dominate the game. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. Western Kentucky has a three point lead. 
takes it out to about the 49. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled around the 35 yard line. And he's tackled at the 35 yard line. He steps up at the 18. That's a game of four on the play. That'll make it second and seven. That's a game of five on the play. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. Western Kentucky is up a field goal. Black five, black five. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. They come out on an empty backfield. The nine yard line. Loss of six on the play. That brings up second and goal. So at the end of one quarter, the Hilltoppers in front, three nothing. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. He fights forward to about the seven. Receiver dropped it. Incomplete. Person is the intended receiver on the play. That this should be an easy field goal. He gets it up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Collins has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line. Tackle at the 26 yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. From their own 26 yard line. Second down. Makes it out to about the 36. Hands off 
to the right and is brought down in the backfield. Wright is waiting for the snap. Brought down to 39-yard line. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Western Kentucky is up by six. Gets past the tackler. Makes it to the 41. Makes it to the 31. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second in inches. Pressured and brought down. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Third down. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He makes his way out to about the 25. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Taken down as he works to the left for a nice game. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Here he goes. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of four yards. That brings up second and goal. Western Kentucky up six. Tackle at the four yard line. No game. That makes it third and goal. Touchdown, Western Kentucky. This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 61-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. Makes it out to about the 33. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Taken down around the 43 yard line. That makes it first and ten. A 
the middle for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Takes the ball inside. Lost the ball. Fumble. He picks it up. Makes it out to about the 40. And so the defense comes up with a fumble. Is that turnover going to hurt them? Well, every turnover hurts, but hopefully for their sake, this running back will go out there next time and hold on to the football a little bit better. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. They'll line up with five wide receivers. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. They give to the tailback. Gets to about the 37-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll bring up 36. He's at the 20, the 10. He finally goes down at the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there, and down he went. They're at the five. Second down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Over the middle. Got it. Touchdown. So he was able to connect with a tight end for the score. Yeah, they did a nice job inside the red zone of mixing up the play calling. That touchdown obviously fooled the defense. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Smith back to return. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today? With the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed in space, these guys got a chance to put up a shutout. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Five wide. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That makes it third and eleven. Third and 11. Ball on their own 35. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Wright awaits the snap. Wright. 
They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. The Hilltoppers are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. A little handoff tackled after a decent run up the gut. The Hilltoppers will use their first time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he has possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. down and 10 to go. Ball on the 38. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Gets out to about the 21-yard line. Western Kentucky will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. They'll bring him down at the nine. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up second and goal. They're at the seven. It's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. This one has gotten out of hand. Usually we don't see games get real ugly until the second half when the talent of the depth chart starts to show. But, man, we're still here in the first half, and it's already looking like a blowout. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 64-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 27-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Here comes the pressure. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. He's tackled at the 26. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. And that's it for the first half, and this game is getting ugly. The Hilltoppers with a huge lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The passing numbers put up in the first half are hardly gaudy. Less than six yards per pass for these two teams. So you look at it and you want your quarterback to take care of the ball. I, turnovers are killers. I yep. get that. 
a little, but, too, a little too conservative in the first half. The quarterback, you want him to be a little bit more aggressive out there? But if you're not, then it's going to make it extremely easy on the defense. And I say that because if you don't push the ball down the field, I don't have to respect the whole field. There's a reason the field's 52-plus yards wide and 100 yards long. I mean, if you make me honor that and you, you, make it, you throw it down the field 30 or 40 yards and you make me run all the way down there and cover that area as well, it makes it a lot harder on a defense. Right now, the passes are so short, you're only making me cover 30, 40 yards. It makes it easy on a defense. The pass rush, you get your hands up and try to deflect balls. You know the ball's coming out early. It makes everything extremely simple on a defense when you make passes just dink and dunk, dink and dunk. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. We always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Very lopsided first two quarters. We'll hope for better as we head into the third. Smith from the three. Gets out to about the 21. The Hilltoppers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 21. Caught open field. He's knocked out of bounds around the 25-yard line. That'll bring up 36. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Gentry was the intended receiver on that pass. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Wright awaits the snap. Brought down at the 46-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Western Kentucky with a big advantage. Short over the middle. He's on the run. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 41. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41. He fires, and it's going the other way. Williams makes the interception. That was just a sloppy pass, but for now, they can afford to live with it. From their own 26-yard line, it's first down. Taken down at the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. He steps out at about the 41. That'll make it second and seven. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball in their own 47. Here's the 
fires the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Runs right for a nice game. fellas up front. This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Seven yard line. Second down. But I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Steps out of bounds at the 23-yard line. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. State gets set to kick this one away. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27 yard line. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Bring him down to the 37-yard line. Defense looked like it jumped early. Offside. Defense. It's easy to teach guys to watch the ball and not listen to the quarterback's cadence, but some quarterbacks are just so good at barking out the signals that they're still able to draw some of these guys offside. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires it out. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 30. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. He scrambled. He's to the 40. Tackle made at about the 45. First down. From their own 45-yard line. First down. Throws it. Incomplete pass. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball and was incomplete. That's a gain of one on the play. That'll make it third and third nine. down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He airs it out. Picked off. So that's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. And that turnover could help them out. Right, right, 
First and ten. Ball on the 17 yard line. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Number 88 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. And he's immediately tackled. From their own 28-yard line, first down. sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers they'll spread the field with five wide got his man can't tack on any yardage so it's third down now and they're going to need about four Pass man open and he dropped it. Hood was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Right is the punter. They'll bring him down at the 33 yard line. It's been an impressive game by this defensive lineman. Well, he's just one of those defensive players that if you're an offensive coordinator, you're basically building your game plan around his skills. To me, this is just a classic example of just being bigger, faster, and stronger than the guy trying to block you. His solid individual effort hasn't quite been enough to turn back this offense. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 31-yard line. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. And that one's incomplete. Gets rid of it quickly. Picked off. It's the ball hawking senior. And down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. That INT puts him in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Quickly to the tailback. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. That makes it second and two. Going deep. And he's got the freshman. Brought down around the one-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Tackle at the one. The halfback picks up a yard. That brings up second and goal. and he'll be marked down. Loss of one there for the halfback. That makes it third and goal. From the one-yard line, it's third down. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. So at the end of the third quarter, 
The Hilltoppers in front, 27-3. into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action scrambling around keeps it and he's got a touchdown they weren't able to defend the quarterback scramble and they give up six and he's one of those quarterbacks who can do this when he's close to the goal line he'll pump fake then take off or he'll put his head down and crash it in anything goes with this guy play 47 yard drive and they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion brad i thought that was a textbook drop i thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run in the pass just an overall well executed touchdown and he's tackled at the 31 yard line the quarterback comes back on the field and i'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive the first rule on offense is to take care of the football these guys need to remember that on this drive. Gets out to about the 31. And he hits him hard at the 24. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Third and long now after the sack. Mike 42, Mike 42. Get to that quickly. And they make the stop around the 26 yard line. Collins to punt. Excellent punt. Gets to about the 41 yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. That's a great tackle at the 33. That's a loss of eight yards. That'll make it second and one. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And he tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. the catch and he might take it and he's tackled at the 29 yard line i'm not sure that'll be enough at this point but it's good to see them moving successfully and giving it their best effort now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass He goes out of bounds around the 24-yard line. That makes it second and six. Man left, man left. Caught with room to work. And they push him out around the nine-yard line. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line and he 
throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Throws out and through his hands. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Five-yard line. So the offense stays on the field here. It's fourth and goal from the four. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. And he is drilled at the 12-yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Jackson is the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. They line up at the 12. It's third down. He sails it long. Throw. He's taken down at about the 25-yard line. Keep those chains moving. Just a simple out route that time, and it was enough to beat the zone defense. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Just under three to go in regulation. After a decent run up the gut. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Easy, easy. Play four, play two. Here's an opening. Runs right for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. He passes for his third touchdown of the game. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 91-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 34-9. Tackle at the 27. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. They come out on an empty backfield. Slings it. Good open field tackle. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings up second and five. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Throws left. Picked off. Inside the 30. 
with a 10. Johnson makes the interception. They've just been outmatched and outplayed this entire game. That pass was thrown with very little confidence, and it was an easy interception for the defense. First down. Knocking on the door here. It's first and goal inside the five. Just under two to go in the game. He's in. Another touchdown. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And he just got drilled. Kickoff returns 22 yards. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. All the game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 25. Quick throw, and bring him down right around the 24-yard line. Green takes him down behind the line at the 24-yard line. That'll make it third and nine. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 24. Green pass. He's got his half back. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. Wright is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to midfield. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. Western Kentucky up by a big margin. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. after positive yardage. Mercifully, this one is over. The Hilltoppers, 41. The Panthers, 9. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.